Hey, what's going on everybody out there? Uh, had a pretty eventful day today. Uh, two things uh, kind of happened today. I um, I made a post earlier on my Facebook page, which I know some people aren't on there. It had to do with um, Tim Tebow getting re-signed uh, or getting signed by Jacksonville Jaguars. And, and I'll get into the whole story a little bit later. Uh, it goes in pretty deep and I think some people took it the wrong way and some people agreed and a lot of people didn't agree with it and they DM me and wanted to just go whatever whatever their their deal was but it's whatever so anyways I get have to deal with, with some of that backlash and actually I like it I think it's good opening conversation especially when it's with intelligent people so anyways as many of you know I order um, a lot of cards and things and every once in a while I order a mystery pack uh, mystery pack, mystery, mystery box. So, um, I ordered four of them uh, a while back, and um, hadn't seen them come in, and we just wondered, man, where in the hell are these things at? So I'm uh, sitting there, and my mom messaged me saying, "You got four packages here." I was like, "Cool." So I get home, and uh, I'm thinking to myself, because at first I didn't remember what they were. I, I just just four packages. Thought it was some stuff that I bought before some cards I had some cards coming in that I was waiting for and um, I start opening the first package and I'm opening it and I'm like what the hell is this like I didn't order this I open it and it's a uh, Saints hat I don't want to crease the bill well, too much so everyone knows I'm not a Saints fan um, Drew Brees is cool but I'm not a big Saints guy so I'm thinking, well, you know, it's I'll wear a hat. I, you know, I like, like to have a hat at the gym or, you know, I don't generally run a comb through my hair because I'm not that type of guy sometimes. So I just uh, throw a hat on and uh, it's, a, it's a brand new hat. It's good quality, you know, snap back. And so I went up and say, well, whatever, man. Uh, there's another package. I open this one. Maybe it's cards because that's what I'm looking for or some kind of collector's thing. I open, open up the next box. It's another. Saints hat. So now I got two Saints hats. And I'm thinking like, I don't even know two Saints fans. So I'm thinking I can't sell them. I can't even give them away because I don't know any, any Saints fans. Um, so I'm saying, well, what the fuck do I do with these hats? I'm thinking, where did they come from? Why, why would I order two Saints hats? Let alone one. I mean, one Saint hat, let alone two. So I'm like, fuck, man, I can't believe this is happening. You know whatever though you know i'll figure something out it must have been a wrong address you know that they sent to the wrong person you know but two of them they released the guy mailed two saints hats to one address so i'm like okay whatever just put them to the side I go, man i got another packages i'm open gonna open up more open up package three another saints hat so at this point at this point, I'm thinking somebody's ribbing me, thinking it's it's Titus or Vinny or somebody's joking with me. My mom's in on it, and it's the perfect setup, you know, for these guys to screw with me. I'm looking for the cameras and what's the old Ashton Kutcher to come out and say I'm being punked. And I'm thinking like, what am I gonna do with with three Saints hats? Make it a Niners hat. At least I can sell those. I know Niner fans. I, I you know I know other fans of other teams. Hell, I know Charger fans. I know. Freaking fans that you know from every team in the league except the Saints. So I'm I'm fucking you know at this point I'm ready to just throw these fucking things in the garbage, but they're good quality. I just don't want to throw them away. So I'm just like, well, you know, I guess for the next years of my life I'll have Saints hats that I'll wear, and you know if they ever win, then uh, I'll I'll say I was a fan from the beginning. So I'm opening it up and I'm like, okay, well, I still got one more package. I got one more package to go. There's no way this could be another Saints hat. Uh, you know, there's no way that this guy mailed four Saints hats to one one address by mistake. So I open up the package and to my surprise, it's a fourth Saints hat. <clears throat> so I have four Saints hats. And I don't know what to do with them. Um, I mean, I could like sell them on eBay and all that stuff, but I don't even sell things on eBay, you know. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these hats. Um, I said I'll keep one, 
because I just like to have an extra head around. Um, and I did after going through my day, I realized that my niece, Jackie, is a huge Saints fan. I knew I knew one, kind of, but uh, she's a huge Saints fan, so I'll be giving her one. So I'll have two left. Uh, if anybody wants them, hey, make me an offer. Uh, I just was thought it was hilarious that I have these Saints hats, and I don't... So then after I'm, I'm researching this, and I find the guy's uh, email and everything, I said, I said, dude, did you send these hats by mistake? And he's like, no, man. He goes, I see, he goes, you ordered them. And I was like, I didn't order four separate Saints hats. And he's like, no, but you ordered them uh, four mystery packs. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, your mystery pack ad says you could get, you know, fucking Zion cards or Patrick Mahomes cards or, you know, sports memorabilia. And then he says, yeah, but it says apparel too. And I said, yeah, okay, bro, but why would you send me four Saints hats separately in mystery? He goes, well, I just, I just sent them out in bulk. So needless to say for this guy i'm gonna give him one good rating and the other three are gonna be shit so um screw you for just loading up different <laughs> different uh different uh packages with the same product and not caring about your customers um but anyways that was my experience with mystery pack on ebay but they are definitely nice hats nfl 950 snapback new era Okay, now, getting on to this Tim Tebow subject. I did this post, and the post was in response to another post that I saw. And the person was talking about how, oh, Tim Tebow's got a contract, but Colin Kaepernick's still waiting for a team, or, or whatever it was. And my first thought was like, this doesn't have to be about race. It's really not about race. If anything, it's about a guy getting a chance because his friend and mentor as a coach he get a chance that not a lot of people would get because of who he knows and as i put the post up i put down if you think you know tebow getting a second chance is is bad but these guys it's okay and it was like michael vick who fought dogs uh, uh ray rice who beat up his wife in the elevator i think it was knocked her out uh there was a tyreek hill that broke his kid's nose or something and you know, these guys have had sexual assaults, and then they've all gotten let back in the league, and they've all been given second chances. Hell, Michael Vick's like an analyst now. You know, shit, Charles Barkley was betting and got gambling charges, and he was freaking, you know, he's an analyst now. So it's like, you can't blame this guy for, you know, taking an opportunity and getting an opportunity because of who he is and who he knows. It's just the way uh, life is. Uh, people in every walk of life get a chance and a shot that they don't deserve. And I understand that you want to say that he walked away from the game because he didn't get to play quarterback. You know what? They just interviewed, I think it was Deshaun Watson when he got drafted or Lamar Jackson, one of them. And they were asking him, what if they try to put you at like slot receiver or wide? I'm a quarterback. I'm a quarterback. I kept telling him, like, he's only going to play quarterback. I get it. You only want to be a quarterback. That's what Tebow wanted. End of the day, the kid, or I keep calling him the kid, but the guy, you know, he is arguably one of the greatest college football players ever. Um, that he has back up the stats to prove it. Uh, in the NFL, he was a flop. I mean, he he won some games and he did you know and he did really. He's he was a that last what last six or seven games of the Broncos. He was a winner. Um, stats though, like as a coach, you know I know a win's a win, but yeah, that's pretty bad stats he had. But end of the day, he got it done. Um, so that's the kind of guy you want on your team. And however, he, they didn't feel he could play quarterback. They wanted to move him. He took his ball and ran. Uh, okay, you know, a lot of people do that. A lot of people quit something they don't think they, they, they want to do or switch. And it's just the way life is. Um, but what I tell people with the Tebow thing is, you know, you can't really fault them for wanting him in the program. The dude's a stand-up guy. He's a motivational guy. He's a leader, um, you know, and that's the kind of guy you want. He he does whatever it takes to win. He has the will to win. So one of the comments my buddy Mike made was, um, well, why don't they just hire him as a coach? I have a different feeling on that um, than most because it would seem like, okay, he, you could just make him a coach. But as a player, if you just got paid a couple million dollars and you've been in the league two or three years, 
and this guy comes in who is known to be a failure and he starts telling you what to do are you gonna listen to this guy no you're gonna be like shut the fuck up i'm a, i'm the one who's in the league still after two years and making you know millions of dollars you you left you quit now put him as a player where Tebow has to line up with these guys every day and outwork them because he will outwork most of those guys on the field he's just he's just a workhorse they start building up respect for him and they start listening to him as a, as a fellow player and the leader you know because they see him man this guy failed and he works harder than me i better get my game up or they see a guy who's working harder than them just as harder harder working than them when you know and just appreciating what he has i give this example where i've coached football out of years and i played for a couple of years and there's always that one coach that comes in and starts yelling at the kids move your fucking ass you're a piece of shit girls can do this better than you but the dude's fat he's out of shape you can tell he doesn't work out yet he's yelling at kids to do it and the kids don't respect that uh the kids obviously go against that because they're like you know they uh they build up animosity towards that because th here's this guy who doesn't live by what he's telling us to do he expects us to do this but he's not doing it himself uh, those coaches don't last long you know generally they don't last long so I think them bringing Tebow in was partly to, to uh, build team morale a little bit the, you know think the, the okay you know he's not gonna play quarterback first off and I doubt he'll play a lot he will line up at he, he will line up very rarely at the tight end spot he's gonna be some slot back um, you know, it is Urban Meyer's offense, so Tebow does know it, he can, and he can grasp it. If he had to be like a third or fourth string quarterback, I'm assuming he's probably going to be the holder on kickoff, or I'm sorry, on punt, or PATs, uh, field goals. Uh, he'll probably do a lot of specials. He'll do some uh, gimmick packages. Um, you know, he'll do some motioning, blocking down, and there, so they'll do different things. And he's going to be a gimmick player, you know, like, kind of like he did with the Jets. Um, except he'll be successful. But I think the main reason why Urban wants him is because Urban Urban Meyer, if you don't know Urban Meyer, he's a freaking drill sergeant and he's in your ass. And if the, from what I've seen with Trevor Lawrence, he's a pretty common laid back guy. Like he's pretty much just like go with the flow, um, mellow, you know, works hard. He definitely has the goods. But I just think that that's the kind of kid, Todd Mrenovich, for example, uh, was that his name? The quarterback for the Raiders, Raiders, uh, Raiders, or, or is it Maravich the tackle? I don't know. It was the guy that was a quarterback from USC, and he, like, never had a Big Mac in his life, and he goes to the Oakland and turns into a freaking pothead and just yada, yada, yada. We know the hell story. But um, kids, kids like that get lost, and they don't, ha they don't ha know how to handle direction like that. And a kid like Trevor Lawrence, who, um, you know, pretty much I'm assuming his whole football career – uh, was catered to a lot, you know, probably not a lot of yelling at him. I'm um, not saying he's a prima donna or anything, but when you get a guy like Urban Meyer who is a perfectionist and doesn't care about anything you've done or you can say you can do, um, you need, it's a special person that can that can deal with that. And I think Tebow's going to be the go-between between, between the, the, them two and kind of just pattern that, mentor that. And, I, you know, in two years, Tebow will probably be done playing football and be coaching. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's it's not about a race thing, you know, and I hate dwelling on the Kaepernick thing because, you know, Kaepernick to me wasn't a bad quarterback, but he wasn't a good quarterback either. Um, you know, I, I had this argument, this discussion with a friend of mine who was bringing up the Kaepernick thing. And um, as we were talking about, it, I said, OK, what was what, what was Kaepernick, Ka Kaepernick's, Kaepernick's winning record his last season? And he couldn't tell me. And I said, OK, how many games did he play? And he couldn't tell me. You know why? Because all you care about right now is the kneeling thing with, with Kaepernick. It's it's the show, you know, and he his his actual what he can do got lost in all that, you know, because it became about not about him playing football anymore, which is a shame. Um, and he did get another tryout that he moved 30 minutes before. Um, and, you know, I mean, you could talk about all that all you want, but like I'm saying, it's not about that. Um Kaepernick did have a second chance. Uh, whether teams didn't want him for whatever reason, you know, they don't want him. Uh, as a coach, I know you hire Tebow. You're not going to get the sideshow. There'll be extra media there because it's a story. You're not going to get the 
sending dicks pitch to, dick pics to chicks, drunken in public, beating women, uh, sexual assaults, uh, freaking fighting in pub bars, shooting people, you know, running over old ladies and, uh, you know, all the other stuff that these other stars have done in the past. You're not going to get all that. You're going to get a good guy who has character. Um, not the best football player. You know, he's like I'm saying, he's not a quarterback. He, I've always said from day one, he's a fullback or a, t or a tight end. Um, but you're going to get a quality, good character guy. And that's what football should be about is about good character. Uh, and it's not a lot of times. Um, so I don't know. I don't think it's I don't think it's. I think it's it's a better move than it's not a good move. Uh, some people are going to shit on it right away, um, but you know what? All time can tell. There's a there's a hundred guys in the league that don't belong to be in there, don't don't, don't deserve to be in there, or are given a lot of chances. Uh, just let it pan out. Let us see what happens. You know, um, it's just a shame that that's what the media is going to talk about is this story rather than other things that they should be talking about. You know, um, but hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, I just, I just, that was just my two cents on it. Coming from a player, a coach, uh, a fan, uh, just a, a person who, who has a different outlook on some things. Uh, I'm not thinking Tebow's going to come in and now the Jets are going to, or the, excuse me, the Jaguars are going to win the freaking, uh, you know, Super Bowl. You know, they do have a way better team now with, not just with him, but with the guys they have, they, you know, Trevor Lawrence and the other guys that they got. Um, so they're going to be competitive and it's going to start building. But yeah, I mean, people like it's like this, like I said in my post, name five, five tight ends without Googling, name five tight ends in the NFL. And most of the people can't do it, you know? So he's not like he's taking a bunch of spots from people. And now all of a sudden you know, they can't carry 52 people or whatever it is. He's taking the 52 guy spot, you know, he brings more to the table than, than they lose having him there. Even if he's going to be a third string guy, you know, it's just. Uh, his presence, his character, his, his hard work is, is it's good for any program, you know. Um, this is my two cents on it, um, but, you know, it is what it is. I just, I don't think it's about race, and I, I wish people wouldn't always go to that card on, on a thing like that, you know. He got a chance because he's best friends with the head coach. The head coach trusts him, likes him, and knows what he can do, so he gave him a chance. Uh, I put this on my post earlier, too, that I... Uh, I hire people for my wrestling shows for a couple of reasons. One is because I can trust them. Two is I know their worth that they, you know, 